Welcome back everyone. We have made it much, much easier to use a tarp with the Cricut hammock stand thanks to some great customer feedback. So we appreciate that. And now we're gonna show you how it works. What we've done is machined a hole in the hubs so the Cricut tarp extension pole can snap right in. It's as easy as placing it in there. That extra cordage you see at the bottom of the tarp extension pole, you can just use as an extra guy outline if you like, but you don't have to. To update your hubs, if you have the old version of the hubs, you can email kristen at yobogear.com, send us your old hubs, and we will send you new ones with the machine hole for free. Now Cal's got his under quilt on the hammock, and it's time to place the tarp. The loops on the ridge of the tarp slide right over the end of the tarp extension pole. We'll get you a close up right here. This is a 12 foot tarp. A 12 foot tarp fits this setup perfectly. So if you happen to have a shorter tarp, that's fine. It just takes a little extra cordage or some elastic to span that length, but we recommend 12 foot tarp. This particular tarp comes with internal pole mods. They are not 100% necessary for tarping the Cricut stand. However, we do recommend them because it makes it that much roomier inside. Now these pole mods come with some shock cordage that you can attach back for extra stability. We are always grateful for as much stability as we can get in Wyoming wind. That's one side and he'll come over and do the other side. They snap into place and he is ready to stake it out. Now we're gonna show you multiple ways to secure your tarp and they all have their own advantages. This first one, you're gonna see Cal will stake out those guy lines a little further away from the Cricut. This is pretty casual setup. It'll provide you shade. However, you'll still have a nice breeze underneath your hammock, maybe a bit of a view. This would be a great setup on the beach. You can see one of the pole mods has flipped over in the wind. He's gonna come fix it, pop it back into place, which is easy to do because of those shock cords. And we're left here with a nice relaxed setup. This setup would be perfect if you're not worried about the rain, wind, cold, or other elements getting too dramatic. Now, if you are facing more weather, you do have the option to batten down your tarp a lot more securely. This tarp snaps closed on both ends, so we're gonna do that first. And then we're gonna bring those guy lines in much, much closer to the hammock. On this first one, you'll see Cal is doing a trucker's hitch. It's a great knot that enables you to tighten that guy line easily and get it right where you want it. Of course, Ginger is inspecting his work. She insists on being around for all of our adventures and we love that. He'll do the same thing on these other corners, bringing the stakes in closer to the hammock stand and tightening them up. Now this last one will show you how he uses a bar lock you can see that's a little bit long the way it is right there. So he's gonna put a little half hitch in the line and that will give him a lot more tightening capability. Half hitch, then he'll attach it to the stake and he can simply slide that bar up to pull it exactly where he wants it to go. All right, now we're in business. Let's check out what it looks like inside. Cal is of course going to sit slowly in the hammock to make sure that everything is still stable. You can see in the ridge poles of the Cricut hammock stand, we have maintained that nice peak that is so important to the Cricut stability. So throughout your setup process and probably once before you lay in your hammock, it's a good idea to look up and make sure that that peak is still in the Cricut stand because nobody wants to end up on the ground. And here's a nice view of the inside. It was a pretty breezy day as per usual, but we were very cozy in there. Another option you have is to open up one end of your tarp and that'll give you a nice view depending on where you're at. 
There you can see Casper Mountain, which is right above where we live. We spent a lot of hours up there. All right, one last option we're going to show you in this video. You can see here that Cal has attached each of the four corners of the tarp to a leg of the cricket stand using elastic shock cordage. He's also taken the stakes out of the ground, and this enables him to do something pretty cool. When you do it this way, you can pick up your cricket stand and move it anywhere you want. In Wyoming, we usually prefer to stake it down, but if you live in a less windy place, this is so handy because you can pick up your cricket stand, your hammock, your tarp all in one and be able to move it wherever you want. All right, folks, that's the end of this tutorial. As always, feel free to comment, direct message, or email us with further questions. Happy hammocking!